Black History Museum and community members are banding together after someone targeted one of the museum's facilities. They're sending a message to whomever left a racist word in the snow. Six on your size, Lacey Darrow reports. The director of the Idaho Black History Museum was doing what he does every morning, headed to work. But when walking in, he spotted a racist message etched into the snow on a nearby building. And then took a look a little closer and realized that what it said and kind of made me chuckle. I took a picture and posted out to our um, Facebook page. State Senator and fellow board member Sheree Buckner Webb says when she found out, she was not at all surprised to see the derogatory term. Well, my absolute first response was thank goodness they hadn't defaced the, the, the building. I was not at least surprised, not the least surprised. I think this thing continues to go on and on in our state and people tend to turn their head and think it doesn't happen. While they say they're not sure if it was done maliciously or just by a kid, regardless, they say whomever is responsible should consider the ugly history behind the offensive, ignorant, and racist word. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's a kid doing something fun, trying to get their kicks. I don't know if it's an adult being um, derogatory. I would say that that's a volatile word, and I would say you would like to, I would like very much for them to change their vernacular because it is problematic and it is insightful of um, things that can be unfortunate. And they say if the aim was to make them upset, they failed. It's actually done the opposite. They say the Valley has rallied around them against hate and done everything to show their support. So rather than go low, they're taking the high road and using hate as a tool for justice, tolerance, and acceptance. We need to take it as a call to action to fight against it as opposed to getting upset. I mean, getting upset serves no purpose. Lacey Darrow, Good Morning Idaho.